Welcome. In this demo, we are going to compare a cold migration of a virtual machine using NFC with a cold migration using the new Unified Data Transport Protocol in vSphere 8. We have a VM prepared. It has a thick 30 gig OS disk and a thick 50 gig data disk filled by IO meter. We're going to migrate and change both compute and storage. Notice how we see this compatibility message letting us know that we do not have a provisioning network configured, so we can expect lower network throughput. We'll finish the wizard as normal and the migration will begin. Here we have ESX Top open on both hosts showing the network view, and we can observe the TX and RX rates for the source and destination. This migration is using NFC, and in this environment looks to be capping out at around 1000 megabits per second. For the purposes of this demo, we'll speed up the video. Keep in mind that factors like NIC speeds and disk speeds will impact the peak performance you will see when performing migrations. Now that the migration has completed, we can see that it took a total time of 9 minutes and 39 seconds. So now let's activate Unified Data Transport by turning on the provisioning service on our vMotion VM kernel interfaces. Make sure to do this on both the source and destination hosts. With UDT available, we will do another cold migration, changing compute and storage. Notice we no longer get any compatibility messages. We'll finish the wizard as normal and let the migration begin. Again, monitoring from ESX top, as the OS disk is transferred, we see a TXRX rate of around 3000 megabits per second. And once the data disk begins, we can see that peak to around 3500 megabits per second. Again, we'll speed up the video for the remainder of the migration. The migration has completed and this time it took only 2 minutes and 47 seconds. That was a performance gain of over 3 times faster than just using NFC. So that concludes this demo comparing NFC based migration with the new unified data transport based migration in vSphere 8.